there is a way you can make money from supporting your favorite football club. Fan token. Fan token is the game changer. Fan token. How do I go about that, coach? First, you need a phone. Of course I have a phone. A fan token is a cryptocurrency launched by a sports team which can be used to influence club decisions, win VIP rewards and experiences, trade fan tokens, get exclusive promotions, chat with fans worldwide, engage in games, quizzes and more. Socius.com, a trusted app for crypto and sports fans where you get to purchase fan tokens. Socius.com uses Chili's token as its native digital token. So crypto meets sport. So what club do you support? You can sign up on Socios.com, top up your wallet with Chili's token, then you can exchange it with your favorite fan token. You can even influence your team's jersey, the training ground, or choosing the next fan event. Whoa! Easy peasy, right? The more you're active on the app, the higher your chances of winning amazing prizes. Socios.com has everything you need to get you closer to the team you love. Have your voice heard and earn yourself the status of a super fan. Socios.com, more than a fan. Anathon, redefining learning. Play the Tapabot FIFA World Cup 2022. Predict and win up to $50,000. Select five countries to win the FIFA World Cup 2022 and stand a chance to win $50,000. How to win? Sign up three new users to qualify. Earn big, play now. We all have a great story to tell. One that starts with a humble beginning. Where we work hard, dream big, and learn to believe in ourselves. Where we rise to every challenge. That's how we can change the game. Together, we can exchange the world. This is where our story begins. Join me on Binance. To the moon. Supporting your country in the World Cup is super fun. So, how about you support them and earn money in the process? Join me every World Cup match day on Sports Fusion where we talk about everything World Cup and give out cryptocurrency goodies. Sports Fusion, where crypto meets sports. Congratulations to Morocco and Croatia as they advance to the round of 16. And a very big congratulations to Morocco being the second African nation to make it to the round of 16. Hello and welcome to Sports Fusion, where crypto meets sports. Brought to you by Crypto TV Plus. And make sure you follow us across all social media platforms at Crypto TV Plus. 
and subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure to turn on the post notification like this video drop a comment drop a comment it's very important and vital that you drop a comment let me know how you feel about the world cup tell me how your, your predictions are coming tell me how you feel uh, are, are your expectations being met in this world cup tournament drop your predictions in the comment section join in on the conversation using hashtag sports fusion from any social media channel uh welcome back to sports fusion where crypto meets sports my name is odyssey jennifer and i still have with me michael adebile who supports argentina and spain sometimes he hasn't it's and, not really really and portugal on every day you, you should pick a side. You, uh, you seem like you seem like the kind of man that wants to have true wives. Pick a side. Well, I'm a Yoruba man, so uh, that's normal. Yeah, Yoruba, a proper Yoruba yeah. demon. I, I wouldn't deny that. A so. proper Yoruba demon that shows. I mean, why why settle for one when you can have three? Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> okay, so I still have with me also Nike Oshuni, the Canadian citizen by prediction. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi everyone. Have you Hi, packed Jennifer. your bags? Yes, I'm ready. I'm. Uh, please give me my. No, no, this is not your bag. This bag is for my viewers. Okay, wait. Well, what's 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 so special that? Ah, there are too. goodies in this bag, my dear followers. <laughs> like I said earlier on in the show, before we were before the first batch of the show, yeah. this goodie bag came from Qatar, and I need you guys to tell me who brought this goodie bag back from Qatar. I mean, you have, when, you when have stuff it, like this in here. You have uh, the cup from, uh, just, uh, no, close of you, the cup from uh, Germany, and all of that, lots more. All you just have to do to get what's in this goodie bag is tell me who brought this bag back to us from Qatar. So I also have joining me online, Son, Sources, uh, you to watch you. Our son, hi. How are you, son? <laughs> Oh, I hope you guys can. I hope you guys can actually hear me. Uh, good. Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I just want to say something, and um, Michael, I think I'm going to start with you because for the fact that <laughs> you are here, <Yoruba> <laughs> man, uh, doesn't mean you should have all the whole thing in the world. So just tell calm him. down. Tell <laughs> him. Tell <laughs> him. Tell him. Tell him, I'm so down. Okay, welcome to the show, so Welcome to the show, so So if you're just joining yeah, us, you. this is Sports Fusion, where crypto meets sports. We talk football, we talk crypto, NFTs, fan tokens, and we promise to bring Qatar to your screens during this FIFA 2022 World Cup tournament. So make sure you join in on the conversation using the Sports Fusion hashtag, hashtag for sports post fusion drop your comments in the comment section below now if you're active if you are live and you are viewing this show if you've been following us i have a surprise for you i'm not joking i have a very big surprise for you all i need you to do is drop a comment in the comment section below drop a comment if you've been active if you know you've been active and we know people that have been active drop a comment just say hi just say hello wherever you're you, talking from just say hello it's a big 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 surprise for our two our top two viewers our top two interactors so make sure you share this video and uh, you stand a chance to win awesome prizes at any time on the show and one of those times is now live on the show we have a special gift for two active followers so make sure you drop a comment so we've shared with you over a million dollar giveaway showing you different opportunities by which you can end big during this World Cup, you stand a chance to win up to seven, seven, seven dollars. If you take a picture of you watching the Ronaldo Binance ad on TV, tag at Crypto TV Plus and at CZ underscore Binance, and finally at Binance NFT with the hashtag hashtag Binance on TV and hashtag CR7 to qualify. So Morocco became the first African team to top a World Cup group in 24 years after beating Canada 2-1 today. Uh, the first half goals from Hakim Ziyech and Youssef and Nesri proved enough with Naev Agard's go on goal, the first of the tournament, the first on goal of the tournament, nothing more than a consolation for a Canada side who returned home without a point and a goal, an own goal at that. Uh, Morocco must now wait for Thursday's Group E games to see who they will face in the last 16 as the Education City Stadium on Tuesday. Morocco needed just a point to guarantee a place in the knockout stages for only the second time and the first since 1986 and they were gifted a dream start after four minutes. Uh, so what do we have to say about this game, Michael? 
I think um, it's an important win for them. Uh, before, when we came on on the first half of the show, I said how important it was for them to just Aren't go you supposed on. to be excited, like ecstatic for excited. them? I mean, I can't be jumping around. It's just, it's just the round of 16. It's just the round yeah. of 16. Still, yeah, so, if, they, if they advance to the quarterfinals, then yeah. we can be excited for them. All the semifinals, for, semifinals. for the very first time. I mean, no African yeah. team has gotten to the semifinals. No, uh, yes, yeah, no African so, team yeah, has gotten to the semifinals. Yeah, so, so it's not exciting I think, uh, you know, we said it um, before we go, went in the first half of the show that they have to go on for the win. And not just um, rely on the fact that they need just one point to qualify yeah, to and then go the for next, the draw. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, you know, they took their chances. I came to ZH just four minutes into time. Uh, the goalkeeper uh, from that side, the Canadian side, uh, coming probably smoked some Canadian lads. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, That's how we roll. Uh, he gave out the ball in, <laughs> in the That's first four roll. minutes. Gave wow. out the ball in the first four minutes and then Akim Ziyech buried it. Also, the second goal. So basically, came in all time. three goals came from the Moroccan side. So, are we, yeah. is it safe to say that uh, the, Canada, the Canadians could not even get one goal in this tournament? No, let me come to you. They got one in the, in, the, in the game against Croatia. Uh, they got one goal in the game against Croatia. They even scored first, but eventually considered four against Croatia. So, that game ended 4 1. Day. So, they only got just one goal. And then they didn't they get any points. They got two goals and one own goal. So, what do you have to say about the game between Morocco and Canada? Uh, well, uh, for me, it is game of football. Uh, like I said, I, I know definitely that uh, the Moroccans are going to actually get this one. I predict them to win. Uh, I think I said I said a two one or two nil. I don't know, but I can't remember anymore. But I know I predicted yeah. them to Next win. Next time, write it down. <laughs> uh definitely 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 but I, i'm very happy it is something that um you know uh, when i when i when i saw the whole game i was a uh, kind of very happy because uh you know uh, not just an african at least an african top in the group you know in the uh for the past uh, 24 years uh, it, it is uh, it is a very big record it is something that uh, we've hoped to see most of the time i think over the years uh, africans have always pressed calculator in terms of qualifying you know but this time there's nothing like a pressing of calculator there's nothing like a third place there's nothing like a, a, a best loser or anything no if you don't take first or second definitely you yeah, are yeah. leaving you understand too and they've done something very wonderful for themselves uh, such as uh, winning their game and not just winning the game topping the group for me yeah. um, the moroccan side they, they showed character they showed class and they were all out they didn't go back and sit in the defense they came all out to get the job done and after getting the yes. job done, and they, they did and they yeah. did get the job done they yeah. did get the job done so a uh, fan favorites Belgium were eliminated from the world cup in the group stage after drawing 0-0 with Croatia at the Ahmad Bin Ali Stadium today. Uh, Morocco's 2-1 victory over Canada elsewhere in Group F means Belgium had to win to advance to the last 16. While Croatia... and wasted a few big chances. I mean, uh, hitting the post from one of them, uh, but the match finished goalless as Belgium suffered a shock exit. We have seen the news about the disunity in the team, I think. Oh, so will you agree with me that these affected Belgium in this World Cup? Yeah, for me, uh, definitely. I uh, There's no team, there's no progress without um, without unity. And then for Belgian side, I think um, they are one of the most overrated sides, if mm -hmm. you ask me, because, um, you know, we discussed this yesterday and earlier today as well, that um, Belgium, uh, that team that has so many stars, but don't know what to do with it. You know, they finished third place in the last World Cup, and then we thought this was going to be the World Cup, you know, the coming of age for them, because this is their golden generation. This is the best ever stars they've been able to assemble. Mm -hmm. But then to see them bow out in the group stage, in a group that contains Morocco, uh, Canada, as well uh, as well as Croatia, sure. is an embarrassment for Roberto Martinez, uh, his assistant Thierry Henry, Eden Hazard, Romelu Lukaku, Kevin yeah, De Bruyne, uh, Vatogen, Yuri Tillemans, for all of the stars, for all of the stars that they yes. parade, going out, in the group stage is, is an embarrassment for them. And for the fact that, you know, we eventually, after that second game, uh, we started seeing the, all of the rumors that's coming out of the camp about Thibaut Kotswa and Kevin De Bruyne not talking to each other for three years, as yeah. well as also, uh, there was a quarrel. I, a lot of I think there was also I think there was also a quarrel in, in the camp with probably Eden Hazard and uh, Kevin De Bruyne, mm -hmm. Romelu Lukaku somewhere in the mix as well. And for Romelu Lukaku at this point, I, I actually feel pity for him because he came in, he came in uh, as, as a sub and then he eventually got two chances. Uh, 
uh, if two he's chances currently, reach, he he's wasted. currently been the, cop, the, the the victim of social media trolling at this point. As and we he, speak of right course, now, of course, and because as I expected. know, you know, there was one he hit the bar, hit the bar, and there was one, a one on one with the keeper, like he was one this one close to the goal line. He just had you to just put it in. Just tested the ball, which is um quite disappointing for a center forward if you ask me. So. I was um, trying to talk to uh, my followers um, before I stepped into the Thought studio. Thought you were trying about... to say you are trying to talk to Thierry Henry. No, not start <laughs> to talk I, I was trying to talk to my followers uh, before coming to the it's studio. It's not impossible. That, it looks like he's just coming from, from Qatar. Yeah, like, yes, oh. I mean... <laughs> Yes, that, did, did you come uh, with the person that brought this back? Yeah, yeah, did you come with the person yeah, that brought this back? Yeah, we stepped in together, you know, to give her... <laughs> so since her. we've come back to the back, this back came all the way from Qatar, and he has a lot of goodies for my beloved viewers. So uh, to get what's in the back, or for me to unveil the items of this bag and give it out, all you have to do is tell me who brought this bag back from Qatar. So join in. You're not allowed to say Michael, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so it's not you. Well, I thought it was you. Well, you came, no, you came no, with no. the person. No, I mean, no, you, no, you, no, have, you have Qatar. No, you look very no, no. Qatar like. Yeah, yeah. He looks so Qatari. Qatari. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so join in on the conversation, guys. Use the hashtag, hashtag Sports Fusion. Drop your comment in the comment section below. Make sure you like this video. Oh, okay, okay. So I just got a comment. Jacto Ogale. Hello, I'm Jacto Ogale. Nice so, to meet you. Hi, Jacto Ogale. You've <laughs> been one of our most active viewers throughout the beginning of the show and we have a gift for you we have a gift for you jack to ugali so you're one of our winners you're one of two of our top viewers so the gift is we're giving you 50 uh spain fan tokens we're giving you 50 spain fan tokens so you reach out to us or our team will reach out to you but you're sure getting that 50 spain fan Woo! token today so a big let's, let's know how excited it is Woo! i want to see comments of Oh, try then. You have a crush. Oh, you have a crush. Why do you have a crush? I like how Michael speaks. <laughs> Thank you. Michael Thank you. Okay, crush. okay. Yeah, we you. I'm so I'm so happy for you. So why just know why you naming in a crush? What, what, is, what is it, a guy? His name is Michael. Oh. Why is, why, is, why, is, why, is, why is that saying a crush? Okay, so Jato will reach out to you. We'll reach out to you. Uh, we'll yeah, let's know you. how excited Jato is. Yes, also tell us how excited. I'd be running you around are. the room if I was giving fifty Spain Spain fan token at this point. Yeah, so yes. If you send us a video, we would like it as well. We we'll like yeah. it. Send yeah. us tag us. Tag us on our social media platform. Send us a video of, you know. Send us a video. Let us know your reaction. How do you feel getting 50 Spain fan tokens from us? Because I'm sure you were not expecting that. We're waiting we, for we, that we, comment we, We're waiting well. for you. And we're waiting for one other person. We just need that one other person to comment in the yeah, section. Yeah, and for below. others too, you can get Share active. Share to your and friends. And yes, get active. In the get active, guys. Get active, guys. Uh, join in on the conversation. Make sure you like this video. Share. You stand the chance to win awesome prizes at, at any time on the show. Just has uh, as Jacto Ogale has uh, worn his 50 Spain NFTs. Uh, no, sorry, not NFT, fine token. So we've shared with you over a million dollar giveaway, uh, showing you different opportunities by which you can end big during this World Cup. You stand a chance to win up to $777. That's $777. If you take a picture of you watching the Ronaldo Binance ad on TV, tag at Crypto TV Plus and at CZ underscore Binance, and finally, at Binance NFT with the hashtag, hashtag Binance on TV and hashtag CR7 to qualify. So before we go on a quick break, uh, let me know how you feel in the comment section. Say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you tell your friends. There are lots of goodies on this show. We go on a quick break. Crushing. And when we come back, I'll see if many of you is crushing on me. <laughs> <laughs> Supporting your country in the World Cup is super fun. So, how about you support them and earn money in the process? Join me every World Cup match day on Sports Fusion, where we talk about everything World Cup and give out cryptocurrency goodies. Sports Fusion, we are crypto meets sport. There is a way you can make money from supporting your favorite football club. Fan token. Fan token is the game changer. Fan token. How do I go about that, coach? First, you need a phone. Of course, I have a phone. A fan token is a cryptocurrency launched by a sports team. 
which can be used to influence club decisions, win VIP rewards and experiences, trade fan tokens, get exclusive promotions, chat with fans worldwide, engage in games, quizzes and more. Socius.com, a trusted app for crypto and sports fans where you get to purchase fan tokens. Socius.com uses Chile's token as its native digital token. So crypto meets sport. So what club do you support? So how do I get my fan token? You can sign up on Socius.com, top up your wallet with Chile's token. Then you can exchange it with your favorite fan token. You can even influence your team's jersey, the training ground, or choose in the next fan event. Whoa! Easy peasy, right? The more you're active on the app, the higher your chances of winning amazing prizes. Socius.com has everything you need to get you closer to the team you love. Have your voice heard and earn yourself the status of a super fan. Socius.com. More than a fan. Anathon. Redefining learning. We all have a great story to tell. One that starts with a humble beginning. Where we work hard, dream big, and learn to believe in ourselves. Where we rise to every challenge. That's how we can change the game. And together, we can exchange the world. This is where our story begins. Join me on Binance. To the moon. Play the Tapabot FIFA World Cup 2022. Predict and win up to $50,000. Select five countries to win the FIFA World Cup 2022 and stand a chance to win $50,000. How to win? Sign up three new users to qualify. Earn big, play now. And welcome back to Sports Fusion, where crypto meets sports. So if you're just joining us, before we went on the break, we gave out 50 Spain fan tokens to one of our most active viewers. That was Jacto Ogali. And we're waiting on the second active viewer. We know him by name. We're just waiting for him to drop a comment. So if you think you've been active on the show, if you think you've been very, very interactive, make sure to drop a comment in the comment section and we'll get right back to you uh so make sure you share this video invite your friends i mean we have lots of goodies for you guys invite your friends and also don't forget that i have a goodie bag full of gifts all the way from qatar all you have to do is tell me the name of the person yes as a crypto santa that i am <laughs> tell me the name of the person who brought this goodie bag all the way from qatar for my viewers uh <laughs> We need the full name. You need the full name. Need the full name. <laughs> need the full name. No, the full name is quite tough. Just need, need a hint. Name. If you, if you're, a, even if you're. 50% correct. You might just start. You might mean you might mean one I mean, of crypto, me, uh, I have my eyes for it already. Santa might be benevolent and just dash you something. Uh, I'm a crypto Santa. I don't know. Well, I've, I've been, we've been benevolent enough to give 50 Spain national token to Jack to Ogale. So if you feel you've been active, just make sure you comment, 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 and we'll reach you out. You might just to, me metaverse it to you. 
Mm. We'll, reach out to, we'll reach out to one of our active viewers. So, mm -hmm. uh, who are the players that were exceptional in the Group F? Uh, we have Alfonso Davies, Hakim Ziyech, Lucas Modric, and probably no one from Belgium. So, before I come to uh, Soren, uh, joining on the conversation using the hashtag SportsFusion, tell me who, what player in the Group F stood out for you so make sure you like this video and you stand the chance to win awesome prizes uh, so a level of that so tell me who was most exceptional for you in the group f i mean there's no one from belgium all of the belgium stars thibaut kotua kdb yeah. lukaku no and then hazard i mean the hazard brothers there was nobody that was really really impressive in this group f uh well for me without any iota of doubt i would want to give it to uh, hakim ziyech he has been phenomenal for his uh, country he has shown that uh you know he has what it takes uh, to be in that uh, big stage and uh, thank god they played very well and uh, they've actually find themselves or found themselves in that particular stage that they wish for uh kudos to hakim ziyech he did very very well for himself uh, he has been doing very well he has scored a goal look at how he scored that goal it tells you how wonderful you know on uh, these uh, you know world cup could be so for me i think uh hakim ziyech has been very 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 uh wonderful even i think, uh, I, think I, I agree with you i agree with you that he has been really really exceptional i mean taking morocco to the round of 16 with uh most african countries out of the tournament we have senegal now and morocco in the round of 16. uh so uh, the race for a place in the world cup uh last 16 which is a climatic conclusion in group e as costa rica and germany go head to head as the albert stadium today in a few minutes so hansi hansi flicks side currently sits bottom of the group after claiming one point from the opening two games and anything less than a victory in the final group outing will see them suffer a separate successive group stage exit having suffered a disappointing opening day defeats to uh rank outsiders japan where the bremen bremen striker niklas folkrog gave die manshafts a glimmer of hope as he struck in the 83rd minute to force a 1-1 draw in the last sunday's group game against group leader spain so what should we expect from germany versus costa rica at uh, japan versus spain let me know your predictions in the comment section below Below. joining on our predict and win via our social media channels uh, moving on uh group e leader spain will lock hunt with second place japan in an intriguing 2022 world cup contest at the uh, Khalifa International Stadium later on this evening. So before we come to Japan and Spain, uh, yeah. Germany and Costa Rica, I mean, do you see Germany losing to Costa Rica? If they could lose to Japan and lose to uh, Spain, are they, they also drew. losing? They drew against Spain. Oh, yeah, yeah, they drew Spain. Yeah. I don't say losing to Costa it was, Rica. It was, they, they almost lost to, to Spain as well. Uh, yes, they did. I think they've been on that there was a cancelled goal on that, yeah, that game. Yeah, so they, I think they've been on that part, talking about Germany, and then the fact that they also you know, bowed out at this same stage um, in the last World Cup 2018 for a team that won the World Cup in 2014. Yeah. Uh, they've been below par in this competition. In 2018, they lost out in the group stages to uh, some less fancy side. Uh, they started their tournament with a loss to Japan, which was a very, very surprising one. Very, one of the surprising things yeah, of the, the tournament. Yeah, 2-0 like that, you understand? So, well, hold on, let uh, me come know. to Nikki. How, how surprising was that loss for you? I mean, it was, it was really surprising. surprising. But I, I, want, I, want, I want to know, would you say there was a cert there's a certain reason why it's like a re repetitive pattern. Mm. I don't know if if there's there could be like a repetitive pattern as you are stating. Yeah. That. No, if there's there, a repetitive there? pattern, we'll be talking about France and France were mm -hmm. the last uh, that the defending champions of the World Cup, mm -hmm. and now they are they've advanced already to the round of sixteen. I so think um, I think thing. repetitive factor is the fact that um, now they are also finding themselves in a very tough position. That's what Nick is also trying to say. But in 2018, you know, they lost out in the group stages, and now they're yeah. on the brink of another group stage. Yeah. And I think um, the reason why I'll say that is that, uh, you know, when they won the World Cup in 2014, they had so many older players, you know, matured players. I'd like to Tony Cruz, Sami Kedera, uh, okay. Mesut Ozil, yeah. um, Rousseff, Close, and then Thomas Muller was in his prime then and all of that. So now uh, they are moving. You know, most of majority of those players that won the World Cup in 2014 have now retired. There's no Kedera, there's no Tony Cruz, there's no Mesut Ozil, you know, yeah, there's no yes. Philip Lam. There's yes, no, there no so many. No, there are no so Germany many. So, so many. Okay, let me, so, let me, let so me read this book of Bleacher, Bleacher Football. Uh, so this, um, it's saying, oh, 
lost it. We lost it this week. Okay, so our Stephanie Frappard, uh, News of Back, and Karen Diaz will become the first all female refereeing team in men's World Cup history when Costa Rica face Germany. Let me it sounds exciting. And oh, nice. this is the kind oh, of nice. news oh, I love nice. to hear. I mean, yeah, they're, they're giving them opportunities now. Yes. It's, it's really amazing. It's, even now, really women amazing. football is even becoming a thing. It's, it's becoming really a thing. You see people dragging women football. Smile, smile, smile. Smile. Say, smile. Be happy you know, for us. You know, as now, we are topping the table. We are happy, happy for you. But you know, as now, women are topping the table. Yeah, definitely. I know so many players in the, you know, I know, very uh, no, this is a this won. is a women's we this is a women's as, conversation. As player, it's a women's though, conversation. Actually. It's a women. <laughs> but mid to I mean, three in women in are, yes. are referee officiate a game in the World that, Cup, that, not any tournament. Amazing. It's the World it's Cup. World. It's the World Stage. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm no feminist. I'm no. I'm no intense feminist, but I would say it's really. No, you don't have to be a feminist to support women. It's women supporting women. Yeah, we go. If you have a problem with that, go and sleep. Thank right. you. I don't, I don't, by the way, I do not have a problem with go, that. Go guys. back to the Qatar where Sean, you came from. Are, 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 are you happy to see three women officiating the game uh, for Germany today? Of course, I am very happy because one thing we need to understand is that uh, what a man can do, a woman can do it far better. Thank and, uh, you. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so, <laughs> say it again. Please, let, please, please, please. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Son, you will be, be wise to the book. Please, 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 I said, I said, I said, what a man can do, a woman can do it far better. Correct. So, uh, Thank you, you it's not that better. Stop, right stop, now, stop, stop, stop. You are, you are reaching, you are reaching at this point. <laughs> so, so, for me, I think uh, it is a very wonderful thing. Uh, it is something we all want to see. Uh, we preach yeah. about equality, and uh, this yes. is only way to actually induce them or infuse them into what we do. Uh, mm -hmm. If you look at uh, there's a, there's a star of uh, I think uh, uh, the US the US uh, female uh, player uh, Megan Rapino. I don't know if she's retired right now. Uh, but I tell yeah, you, there was a time true. she was actually preaching or talking about the uh, women in sport and how they are not uh, being, uh, you know, given the same rights they give the men. Yeah, and I if you look at the World Cup, if you look at uh, the female World Cup, uh, the last one, I will tell you, it was even much more interesting, much more fun than this one we're actually yeah. watching right now. Hey. No yes. one can it's take that one. Yes, no, 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 no. You know, you know, yes. you know, you know. yes, did yes, you yes I know. Was, Michael? I did. I followed, what is I followed it? the I did. last What's the problem? Don't worry, women football is coming. There was a there was a lot there was a i'm talking about the last female world cup i know what i'm saying yes. son, son i think I, I would want to stop you there, there was you can lot. appreciate you can't stop wait, wait. no i just want to say something i think you can appreciate um the women's game uh their inclusion in football without trying to uh overrate what is going on there I, no, no, i'm no, not no, 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 i'm not preaching against women's football but i'm just i'm just saying okay, so, uh, I'm just before, saying before that, you continue michael we have a comment from trident that's your crush he said uh, and they stop have now talked crush, with your women, women discussion no it's not a women oh, discussion it's a women discussion obviously about wigs and hair and you know it's a guy but this is different so if it's a guy why you saying crush yeah Oh, your admirer, your fan, that's much better. Okay. Uh, your goat is here, he's hailing you. Okay, <laughs> so let's move on. Moving on, Group E leader Spain will lock horns with second place Japan in an intriguing 2022 World Cup contest at the Khalifa International Stadium this evening. Both nations failed to claim maximum points in their last group game, with La Roja forced to share the sports with Germany, while the Blue Samurai suffered defeat against Costa Rica. After recording a shocking 2-1 comeback against a uh, comeback victory against Germany in the opening group E fixture, many tipped Japan to come away with all three points from Sunday's clash against Costa Rica. So make sure you join in in the conversation, guys. Participate in all our giveaways. We have lots of giveaways for you. Use the comment section below. We've shared with you CoCoin Crypto Cup prediction tournament to celebrate the 2022. FIFA World Cup, a $30,000 grand prize, and exclusive Neymar collectibles are included in the World Cup winner predictions competition. The tournament is on up to the end of the World Cup event. Uh, to participate, all you have to do is register using the links in the description box below. And like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you turn on that notification bell. So we will be seeing uh, Jam uh, Japan versus Spain, uh, Germany against Costa Rica. Uh, so what's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Son. 
Japan versus Spain. What are your thoughts? What are what are your uh, predictions? What are you seeing? What would be the result of this game? Oh well, the result of this game will be very, 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 very crazy. Uh, for me, I think uh, it is very crucial because uh, these are the two sides only that has uh, at least uh, much more points than the than the others. I'm talking about uh, those in the group. Uh, Japan. Uh, we have uh, Spain up there, and we have uh, followed by Japan. And uh, it pains me a lot that these two sides are going to be, you know, locking horns. I was just praying. I was thinking these two sides are going to be facing other side because uh, now one of them was actually leave because uh, most, uh, yeah. two of them has the highest point so it is so painful yeah. uh, japan failed to do their job well when they had the opportunity if they had gotten enough points mm -hmm. uh, so, but... so do, you, do you think do you think uh germany can defeat costa rica i mean that's yeah, germany, i think that's germany, basically the germany. two weak sides of this room Germany can actually defeat uh, Costa Rica. Germany has what it takes to defeat Costa Rica. But uh, I think uh, even if even if Germans defeat Costa Rica, or if you if you look at the group critically well, you will see that there is still hope, you know, for Japan, depending on the results, you know, depending on the results, the way the results okay. stands, you understand, for them. So yes. for me, There's I think it should all go all, yes, because if you look at uh, Poland yesterday, they lost. They lost. Yeah. But uh, because another team helped them, in terms of uh, reducing the deficit, you understand that was why they yes. were able to qualify. Mm -hmm. you understand? So for me, yeah. I think all they need to do right now. And then is everybody to qualified. Other... Poland qualified. Yes. Argentina qualified. China so qualified. Before, yes. we know we don't have a lot of time. Let me hear from um, Michael. Spain uh, was no, not even Spain. That Spain Japan is not even the main content for me. It's mm -hmm. Germany versus Costa, Costa Rica, Rica because they're the two weaker sides of this group. Yeah. I think it's quite. Um, I think it's quite bold to say Germany are a weak side uh, because, because of, they've not been doing uh, really well in the, the tournament. I mean, they have you know, what one you know, point? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they have um, just uh, one point. Yes, uh, they drew their last they drew their last game, game against Spain. Spain. So uh, fine. I think they've earned the the disgrace to be called a weaker side. But then I think on their own day, they are still a world class side. You know, they are still yeah. the likes of uh, Serge Gnabry. There's the Thomas uh, Muller. Yes. And then all of the guys. There's Joshua Kimmich. I uh, you know there's uh, Tom, Rudiger, there's, um, there's, there's Musiala there's in there. Yala, yeah, which is a player so, at my yeah, one of the players of the tournament, the youngest players in this tournament, and then they still have what it takes. For Costa Rica, I think um, Costa Rica were only lucky to get a win in the last game against Japan. Japan forward at that game because Costa Rica have not been really exceptional, uh, save for the exceptional um, goalkeeping skills that they have at the back, uh, which is Kelo Navas. Uh, the only person that is trying to like turn up for them is that former Arsenal man talking about Joe Campbell. Up front, so they're, they're not really a big side, so I don't think they should pose so a you threat think, uh, for Germany. I think Germany will win this one. You know, this is what happened to Argentina as well. You know, they lost the first game, we were able to pick up something from the next game, and then mm -hmm. eventually sealed it off on the last day yeah. of qualification. So, okay, so uh, I expect gentle, Germany to pick up. Gentle man, uh, let me start with you, Nikki. If you're to uh, just random prediction, Costa Rica versus Germany. You know, I want to be sure that uh, when I'm going to my Canada flight, I would take this along. This no, way. this bag is not for you. This bag is for my viewers. <laughs> and all you have to do is tell me who brought this precious bag all the way from Qatar. Mm -hmm. For you, that lot is very heavy. I can't even lift it. Just let me know. It's not for Nike. But we'll get back to that. So tell okay. me your predictions. Um, I'm, uh, I won't say a draw because, I mean, we have def definitely said that one, one team is weaker than the other. So mm. maybe a 2-0. So, to Germany. To Germany. To Germany. So, yeah. Germany, Costa Rica, 2 0. Michael, for you. I think Germany will win. Um, I'll go with Nike, 2 0. Uh, son. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Jato Ogale says uh, Germany will win Costa Rica by 4 0, while Spain will win by 3 0. It's mm -hmm. an easy game for the European side. Germany have only, European scored, Giants, Germany have only scored once in this tournament. Yes, and we you see them getting game. four goals. Uh, Jato, that's, that's bold. I think of Costa Rica you. are weak that's too. Very... You know? It could happen. There's nothing that is impossible. And before. also, Costa Rica could also win Germany. Germany yeah. have not been in their A game in this tournament. Well, I think, I think so far, as much as we can say it could happen, we, we should also fake, face facts because as we, the more we say, oh, it's, we're, we're, surprised, we're in for surprises, we still face some things. That there are, are still that some very are, sure games. Yeah. Okay, uh, so, so let me ask you your scoreline, your prediction, ja uh, well, Costa Rica well, versus well, Germany. For me. Uh, let me let me say let me say uh, it's this way. Germans are going to win, but I don't see them qualifying mm. from this group. 
That's mm. one thing. They, I don't see them qualifying from this group. Mark my word, they are not qualifying. They will win definitely mm. because Costa Rica will come. I'm marking your words, son. Fight. You said we yes. should mark it, and I'm going to mark it. Pen and paper, please write your own down, no? Pen and paper. I'm penning it down. He's penning it down. Yes. <laughs> uh, um, uh, uh, Jenny, don't forget your email launch. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> son. We have it on camera. You owe me lunch because you said Leonel Mercy was caught. That was the bet, and Leonel Mercy <laughs> lost a penalty. So you owe me. Two. I've spoken to that person in the studio that said, <laughs> that said he won't. You owe me two Sorry. plates, son. I, I, when I see you, you, you will not so, leave the studio before you, you must so get me my me. lunch. So for me, I, I think uh, the Germans might win, maybe like a 1-0 or 2-0, but no matter what they win, uh, definitely Costa Rica will give you a fight back. And, uh, they might not be able to actually qualify uh, for the next stage because they've actually messed or bottled up all the opportunities that they have. They'll win. And as for Germans against Spain, uh, 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 or Japan against Japan. Spain, I think Japan against Spain. Spain against Spain, I think um, the way I'm seeing it, I, 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 Japan might just actually shock them. But I see a Spain winning by, a, you know, a, a one goal. Just a one goal, or it will end. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, okay. uh Michael, you score line because Spain, you need Japan. to go and see that game. I think um, it might end in a draw. Uh, draw or Spain. Spain will win. Spain have exciting talent. Uh, I Very see, I see Japan young, winning. young and hungry. Have you watched the Spain. Japanese? Play? Oh, because Spain, uh, I'm talking to the wrong person. Spain all the way. Ah, uh, so I'm talking to the wrong ah. person. So, are uh, you Nikkei? Just La score line. Ah, I'm in favor of your good jump pure. Cool. No, those are no. This is not good jump pure. This are <laughs> my. Japan. I hope if Japan wins, hold on. I hope if the samurai wins. I hope hold on, hold on, Nikkei. I hope they'll clean their locker room again. If they lose, they always I I wrote for Japan a lot. It's one of my one of the top countries I want to visit. I mm. love their culture. I yeah. love uh, their and they have beautiful Okay, so we have the yeah. lineup for Germany uh, up against uh, Costa Rica. Uh, we, we have, have Timula, we have Gnabry, we have Musiala, the star player, of, star, um, teenage, young player of the tournament. We have Sunny, we have yeah, uh, Goretzka, Leon, we have Goretzka, Kimmich, Joshua, Kimmich, we have Rom, uh, we have Rudiger, we have Sule, and we have... Um, I will let you take that one, my girl. Manana cool. as well Manana as um, close to man. Close to yeah. man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so for we're waiting for the lineup of the Costa Rica. And so while we wait for that, I think my prediction for Japan and Spain. Uh, I see. I want to give Japan a win. I mean, Sp Spain has. Okay, this is the yeah, lineup well, for Costa Rica. Uh, definitely, Kelo Navas, captain of the side. Yeah. Uh, currently, a, a former Madrid um, legend, uh, Juan Pablo. Pablo. You have Pablo Vargas, uh, Keshe Fuller, uh, Celso Boggs, uh, Oscar Dratz, uh, Brian Oviedo, one of the star players of the squad, uh, Johan Venegas, former Arsenal man, Joe Campbell, Yeltsin Teixeira, uh, Kenda Austin, as well as Brandon Aguilera, okay. uh, one of their also star uh, okay. players. At this point. It's, very, it's uh, been a really slim win for Costa Rica. They don't have a lot of, there's no, they don't have a star player, star player. I think Germany. Unlike Germany, Germany yeah. that is basically born. Yeah, yeah, so this is the so one the we're looking for. So the for uh, Spain. The, uh, the La Rojas. So the uh, La Rojas, we have Simon, we have Omo, we have Murata, we have, we have we have Pedri, we have Busquets, we have Gavi, we have Baude, we have Ferran Torres. Uh, that was I was not done, but let's go moving out to Japan. You, know, you take the Japanese. Uh, for Japanese, we have Gonda, we have Tanikuchi, we have Yoshida, uh, we have Itakura, Nakabura. we have Nagatomo, uh, we have uh, Tanaka, Murita, Moreto, Ito, uh, we have Ito, Kamada, we have Kamada, have we have Kubo, their star player, uh, that man, Kubo, yes, as well Maida. as Meida. And we also have Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so this is, this like is the complete lineup for the Spanish side. In goal is Simon, uh, as always. Homo will be starting up front uh, with Morata. Uh, we also have Williams, uh, you know, uh, Nico Williams, whose elder brother, Inaki Williams, is currently playing for the Ghanaian side, the younger brother is here wow. with the Spanish side. We have um, star boy Pedri, uh, yeah. we have um, um, Busquets. Barcelona, Busquets, uh, Gavi. We also have Barcelona's uh, Baudi. Uh, we also have Barcelona's Torres. Uh, we have Manchester City's Rodri, Rodri yeah, as well as Chelsea's Chelsea. Aspilicueta. Aspilicueta. Yes, Aspilicueta. As... So I think uh, this is another... No, no, Barcelona it's, dominated side. It's you know, obviously, Pedri, obviously, Busque, obviously, the, the Pedri, Spain Busque, team, Gabi, the Spanish team, the La Rojas, is always dominated. Six, they have six it's, they're always dominated by 
Uh, Barcelona, Barcelona side. Barcelona. So uh, we're seeing ja ja Germany and Costa Rica and Japan versus Spain. And before I leave, don't forget to comment and tell me who brought this goodie bag from Qatar. It's very important. It just came today. It's still looking very fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. And for you, make sure to uh, join in in the comment section. Make sure to share this video to your friends. Uh, that will be all on today's Our program. Second. And for more market updates and all uh, happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency visit our website cryptotvplus.com also follow us on social media at and facebook and twitter at crypto tv plus and on instagram at official crypto tv plus to get daily info on our program don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and turn on that notification buttons you don't want to miss out on our shows join me in the comment section below don't forget to comment 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 and share this video tell me how you feel i'll still read them and thank you so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow i'm odyssey jennifer we all have a great story to tell One that starts with a humble beginning. Where we work hard, dream big, and learn to believe in ourselves. Where we rise to every challenge. That's how we can change the game. Together, we can exchange the world. This is where our story begins. Join me on Binance. There is a way you can make money from supporting your favorite football club. Fan Token. Fan Token is the game changer. Fan Token. How do I go about that, coach? First, you need a phone. Of course I have a phone. A fan token is a cryptocurrency launched by a sports team, which can be used to influence club decisions, win VIP rewards and experiences, trade fan tokens, get exclusive promotions, chat with fans worldwide, engage in games, quizzes and more. Socius.com a trusted app for crypto and sports fans where you get to purchase fan tokens. Socios.com uses Chili's token as its native digital token. So crypto meets sport. So what club do you support? So how do I get my fan token? You can sign up on Socios.com, top up your wallet with Chili's token. Then you can exchange it with your favorite fan token. You can even influence your team's jersey, the training ground, or choose in the next fan event. Whoa! Easy peasy, right? The more you're active on the app, the higher your chances of winning amazing prizes. Socios.com has everything you need to get you closer to the team you love. Have your voice heard and earn yourself the status of a super fan. Socios.com, more than a fan.